Hey, howdy, hey, everybody, and welcome back to Alien Isolation Part Number Seven. Where we last left off, we were in the medical bay and we we're taking an elevator, and the elevator decided to uh, crap out on us because of the fire, which was not our fault at all. So, you know, do not send Ripley a bill because that would not be very good. So, I think right now we're looking for a piece to that elevator, which, of course, has to be in the Sevastopol Skymed Tower. And there are some people over there, uh, which hopefully, maybe we might be able to kill at some point or have the alien kill them. But until then, we don't know. So now we are on a mission, a journey, a beautiful, beautiful uh, something or another to do something because I'm using very vague words at this point because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But if we check our map, let's see where we have to go. We don't know. So the game is exactly the same place as me, but it looks like we got to return to Taylor with medical supplies, which I know. So we got to find a thingy to put in the elevator thingy to... Mahoney, thank God. Oh, great, there's jumped. people here. Looters. Oh, there's a person right there. <laughs> We don't know where to look. Boot up a requisitions android. Is he insane? Peterson wants to know if oh. you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. They're friendly unless you do something unauthorized. Talking to an android is aware of Fine. It'll know how to fix the elevator. Okay. Francis out. Asshole. Okay, so... Fine. Well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. Well, what it looks like we gotta do is we gotta go wake up an android, but according to the guy who was just made fun of or called a silly name, a, a butthole, if you will, uh, it should be okay to wake him up because it's a warehouse android, which I'm totally cool with. So we need to get around these people, and the coincidence in video games is just astronomically high. Coincidence of the fact that the elevator breaks down on the exact floor that has the things that I need to repair the elevator. What do we do now? Perfect. Hold on. And the guys are right above me. I think what I could go left. What noise was we heard earlier? What noise? Kind of like an explosion. I yeah, it that. probably was an explosion. <laughs> it's what stupid. It? Okay. On our way to, to find the trapped. thingy Remote that we need to repair the elevator, back. but of course we don't know what it is. The a the android will know what it is, and that's totally fine. I'm cool with this. Oh hi! Oh my God! Hi! 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 Climb! 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 Go! 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 Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Then shut up. Is there anyone up here? There's plenty of people downstairs. I think everyone's downstairs. They're all sticking together, uh, trying to to avoid the alien. So was I the last person to be informed the alien? Because it's not 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 a very good thing. You guys should like have like a sign or something. Says, hey, uh, aliens, uh, this way, please do not enter unless you want to hang out with some aliens. Part seven, everybody. Still, still people wandering around trying to kill us. Something totally thought the alien was going to be the only threat in this game, but no, no. I think, I'm, I don't like the people more than I dislike the alien. Simply because the people have guns and they can shoot you from far away. What am I accessing this terminal for? Sevastolink, Link, what do you hold for me? Error. Uh, no password. Nothing and nothing. Beautiful. Glad I looked. Anything else useful in here? Schematic, something, new toy. Oh, what's this? I saw something light up. Great. I don't know what the charge packs are for, but I I haven't found a single thing that I can make. EMP mine. What the hell is an EMP mine? Oh, EMP mine would be good against androids, wouldn't it? Flashbang, smoke bomb, noisemaker. I could always make another one of those, couldn't I? Can't make stun baton stuff though. All I really want is some health. Because that would be too much to ask for. I don't know if you guys noticed this. I Since the last episode, I didn't stop. Because I was just on vacation and I could use some video game plays. There's Everyone says this game is stressful. It is stressful, but it's insanely fun to play video games. Do not get me wrong. There's a save station right there. Beautiful. Hey, smoke bomb. Wait, didn't I already have a smoke bomb? Why? How did I have two smoke bombs? What? Oh, wait. Is that like version two? Are there? No, it's still version one. What the hell did I find? Pipe bomb, Molotov, EMP, flashbang? I don't know what the hell I found, but okay, that's fine. So anyway, the point is that I wanted to play some video games because it's been so long. And uh, this is stressful as all hell, but it is fun. This is why I do this stuff. I missed you guys while I was on vacation. I really did. So just back to back episodes. But like I was saying, I, I totally switched around my lights. Like there was no point to do it, but I figured because my face is over here, I should put my key light over there, my fill light over here. So hopefully, I look freaking awesome for you guys. And by hopefully, I mean I already see myself, and I'm pretty happy with it. So we're gonna we're gonna do it this way now, unless of course vlogs make me change my my camera angle again, 
Luckily that these things have windows all the way around. So that means they can see me. They can see me through the windows. We're gonna try to just avoid them as much as possible and assume the alien will only pop down once I make a noise. We gotta, because the game, in my opinion, it's supposed to make you want to f Oh, well I was wrong. Well, there's the alien, so we're gonna go this way. I was literally just about to say, the alien will open. What the hell is wrong with you? Open. The alien will not pop down until, uh, <laughs> until uh, I make like enough noise or something, uh, to call upon the alien. But I'm guessing that was a, uh, a staged moment where the alien, I just got a compound of some kind. Oh, a compound, is that what I'm missing? Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful compound. Craft. And I hear the alien, which is not good. Because we're gonna use this. We're gonna activate and use it. Just so we have like a chance to get shot by something. I don't know. But yeah, that was definitely a staged moment. Unless it wasn't. I don't know. Because like I said before, the alien is totally random. Also, I like that there's audio logs that are already scripted out. So you don't have to listen to them. But you can if you're in a rush and you want to actually hear everything that the audio logs have to say. But then why isn't everything in an audio log? Why can't the computer just like read it back to me? Is the alien around here? Alien is in the vents. He's right above me. All right, just go on through. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up. So you know, don't be waiting. Luckily, I thought I could peek. But apparently, I can't. Oh, there's another safe station. Hello, hello. Say, spam in the safe station. I told you guys I would do this. This was not a joke. I, I literally said I was going to do this. <laughs> it's probably the smartest thing I could ever do. What is this device invalid? Uh, there's a working Joe I need to activate, and there's a map that is of no use to me. Perfect. Everything I wanted. Looks like there's some type of farty gas in here. Okay, don't go in the farty gas. Do not device invalid. There's no point to coming up here. Let's try to go back downstairs. Let there not be an alien waiting for us, because that would not be very good timing. It would not be very good timing at all. What is this? Uh, find a way to open the door to the warehouse. Didn't. Isn't this the door to the warehouse? This is definitely the door to the warehouse. Objective updated. <laughs> what? It said fine. My objective was find a door, a way to get into the door. I literally just walked in. What do you mean? How is that an objective? It's like telling me, take two steps forward. All right, next objective. Take three steps left. All right, jump. Do do the do the hippity hoppity. This is the way I do. Restore. Oh, I gotta restore power. Okay. Uh, find a way to power up the requisitions android. Uh, do I have a map for this place? Oh, what are those things? They're glowing green. Do I have a legend that tells me what the hell those things are? I really need to become better friends with my map. Oh, okay, okay, so the warehouse is the red door. Never mind, I thought I've freaks, freaks, forgive me for thinking that this room that has shelves everywhere was the freaking warehouse. Find a thingy to the, do the thingy. Okay, so we gotta go find a thingy to do the thingy. You think the thingy's this way? Or not? Hello, Mr. Thingy! No alien on the radar, so I, I think we're thingy good. Dingy good here. This looks like a room. Hey, another save station. Why the hell not, right? We've moved 25 feet. The aliens around. Might as well save. It's all good in the hood, brother. What is this? I think that's what I need. So I'm gonna pick that up last. Okay, good. I picked up some scrap. Picked up you. We got lots of stuff there. Uh, okay, here we go. I'll pick this up. Oh, cool! Security access tuner upgraded, level two. Beautiful! It is now more powerful. It can do more things. It will fix everything. It will allow me to see all. So I'm guessing this tuner now opens either the warehouse or the thing upstairs, which will allow me to restore power. Cause it looked like there was like a power grid map. Uh, totally hanging out over there. Uh, any anything? Anything of use? Anything? No aliens? No aliens? No? Okay. So try it. Nope. Key card required. All right. Key card required, so it looks like we're using this thing upstairs. Okay, there we go. Hello, Mr. Device. Mr. DeVille, I'm ready for my close-up. How are you doing? Yes? No? Maybe so? This this thing is so useful in so many places around this ship. I'm surprised, like, not every single person has one of these. See, you go oh, up, did it just freeze? Oh my god, the lag was strong with that one. Oh, I thought the game froze. <laughs> Why is this game doing that? You are literally optimized for this damn system! Whoa! That's power turning on. We're gonna save. We're not doing that again. But no, really, why is this game not optimized for the system? Sega, I thought you were doing a fantastic job with this game. Can we open this now? Yes, we can. So, you, you guys were doing so good, but for some reason, it does not want to work. God damn, these are longer now. 
Do I still have the same amount of time each time? I mean, it gives me like, what, 10, 15 seconds? I think it gives me like 15 seconds to do that every single time. 15 seconds is not a lot of time. Why is that timed? I mean, I get, what is this? Achievement, uh, Siegson security bypass. Oh, really? I've only opened 10 door hacks? Seems like I've gone through so many more doors. And I feel like there should be something more useful in this room besides just a freaking computer. The computer. It's in the computer, man. It's totally in the computer. Elevator out. Beautiful. All right, so wait, 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 wait. Elevator. It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need are a component storage. Row one, stack B. It wasn't lit, but I saw that. It was in the middle of the text. That's beautiful. Uh, okay, Apollo, no. Good. All right, so row row one, slot B is, is where we need to be. That's what we're looking for. And this is the warehouse. So that's where I need to go. I'm guessing, I don't know if it's in the warehouse or in the same room with the freaking Android. Wait, is this room no longer gassy? Nope, it's still gassy. Still very gassy. How do I turn off the gas? I wanna go in there. There's a computer in there. Not that the computers are entirely useful to me. Uh, in fact, they just pretty much annoy me most of the time. But I hear an alien. Do you guys hear an alien? I heard the breathing of an alien. But I don't see an alien on my reader. Not that it specifically says, hey, there's an alien here. Although it was definitely designed for use with a freaking alien. All right, now you're gonna be my friend. Play nice, just as Ripley said, come on out. Why does the alien not respond to beeping noises? Sometimes responds to alarms. I think I read from someone in the comments that aliens, uh, with you have the alarm system on? I, help you? I need a compression cylinder. Components warehouse. No, oh, he tells me anyway. Follow me. Literally tells me Just anyway. Keep the noise down, okay? I'm supposed to be following, you should move. All right, thank you. So, I mean, it's, what was I even talking about? I think I was talking about something, but I don't remember what it was. Hmm, maybe I'll think of it in a second. Has to do with him? No, wait, wait, wait oh. Oh, it's not in this room. Okay, it, he's gonna, oh, so I don't have a key card, he's gonna open that for me. Oh, the computer, the computer in the room upstairs. I mean, I never look at the computers. They're kind of a nuisance, real, real, realistically. I don't, I don't know why I keep stuttering. Maybe it's because I'm nervous. Maybe it's because it's hot in this room. Maybe because I have three freaking lights on me at all times, and I'm wearing a beanie because I, I wanted something unique to me. So I'm going to wear my gunners to protect my eyes, and I'm going to wear a beanie all the time. So who needs to see my hair, right? Oh no. Wait. Don't go to B. Don't go to B. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Don't do it. Don't do. Oh, don't you do it. I need you. I need you. Do I need you? I think I can just go around this. All right. Let's watch this. Hey, buddy. Electricity. Oh! Johnny Blaze here, everybody. Flame on. Can I grab anything off of you? I totally can. Oh, I got the key card off of you. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. So there was a chip. Oh. Oh, it was just this. There's a chance that I would not have grabbed that key card. If I didn't grab that key card, that means that, uh, oh wait, what the hell is the point of this? This doesn't go anywhere. What's the point of this? There's no point even going in there. There's just scrap, get out of there. I think I gotta go around elsewhere. Uh, move this, no wait, the electricity's still over there. Uh, I, if I didn't get that key card, would I have not been able to activate something? Or I don't know, what is this, move up. Wait, no, I wanna move it down. I wanna move it down so I can walk over it, I guess. This is actually a cool way of storage, sure? I mean, it, it, actually, I don't know if this is a cool way of storage. It doesn't really make any damn sense. I mean, it's cool because you don't need a forklift to get everything on the high shelf, but it's really dumb because this room now takes up the space of two rooms. So it's either A, have a forklift that allows you to get to everything else, or B, build a room twice the size that only holds one time the stuff. Sure, it's futuristic as hell, but it doesn't make any damn sense. So B minus to, no, screw it, B minus, who am I kidding? You get an F, sir, for this room, you get an F. Row B, is this row B? This one's lighting up. Was it lighting up or were they all light up? I think I need to go, it was row one, so it should be this stack over here. Oh, go down, no, 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 go up, go down, go down. We're moving you down. We're moving you down to Chinatown, buddy. Is this it? Yeah, here we go. Beautiful. Okay, so I got it. Now all I need is a freaking save station. And I think the alien's back, so we gotta start watching out for that. But you guys know what I'm saying. Like, lo logically, this room makes no freaking sense. Because every single thing here needs to be moved into the floor. And because it needs to be moved into the floor, that means that we're taking up the space of two rooms. So we could have put twice the amount of storage and just had a freaking forklift. He's behind me. He's in this room. I'm leaving. Goodbye, Mr. Alien. We hardly knew ye. Hopefully all the people are dead and you're not over -ha. 
Do you think I can walk this? This seems like I'm not gonna be able to walk this. So we're gonna molly him if he comes near us. I wish there was a save station. I passed like three save stations. Yeah, but nothing really happened since the save. So I guess we're okay. All the people are dead. Why do I hear a buzz saw? This is bringing me back to Outlast. Okay, you're dead. Hey, buddy. I'm actually happy that he killed everybody, because now I don't have to worry about him, and I can just loot their bodies. Oh, he had a key card. Thank you. Oh, is that a key card? No, it's an, item. I, uh, it's an ID tag. I don't know what the ID tags are for still, but that's fine. Don't be an alien anywhere. Save station? Saving? Save station! Yes! We're gonna save. That was such a beautiful part! Oh man, I did wonderful. I did wonderful at that. That was that was excellent. Put the piece in. We are out of here. Activate elevator. Hell, what? oh, god damn it! The noise every single time. Why is everything turning on? Makes such noise. That's just that's bad design. What if someone's sleeping? Oh man, I'm so sad that my my bunk is like right next to the freaking uh, elevator that you know needs power all the time and always constantly goes out. Such an inconvenience. It's three in the morning. Space time. Ship time, eh? Also, speaking of ship time, I totally learned something. Uh, when you're traveling, hey, there's a safe station we're gonna save anyway. When you're traveling, there there's something called ship time. So, uh, I was in uh, Miami and I went to uh, different countries and they had the same time zone I have here in Chicago. And the thing is, Miami is an hour ahead of me. Oh, this is a fun looking room. This is a very fun looking room. Hold that thought. I don't know what's going on, but there's people up there. I'm gonna try and sneak past them. Anyway, so ship time. You you get on the ship and whatever uh, dock your your port you leave from, that's ship time. So because the the ship I was on left from Miami, it was an hour ahead of me the entire time. So I had to change my watch and change. Oh 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 oh! Hey hey hey! Friendly friendly! I thought we were cool, man. Am I gonna get shot again? I need to craft one of these. Uh, but because. The ship tries to keep everyone on the same time instead of changing time zones with the time. They say, we're leaving at 5.30 ship time. So, you literally- did they leave? Oh no, you're in the corner. Don't you see me, buddy? Oh, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. I think they left. What's this? This is a flux capacitor? That's an intercom. I don't know what the hell the point of it is. I don't see them anymore. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe I'm blind. The alien does not go immediately for the people that are sh shooting guns. Oh! <gasps> Hi. Why not? Just cause you shot at me. So here you go. Nope. You. I missed. I missed. I, I, I got you. Got you. That's two. That's two. I gotta reload. Oh! Oh! You were literally right there. That's probably a good reason why I should have a damn light on. So I don't know if any of you find the whole ship time thing. You know, a revelation like I did, but you know, I totally did not know that, and I thought it was pretty damn cool. So, uh, those guys are over there. We're gonna run and we're gonna hide from them because it's really loud over here. We're gonna duck. Why was that smarter? How was it smarter to run? I was. Oh, oh no, oh no, I just saw the alien. Oh no, oh no, oh, did you see that? Is that what it was shooting at before? Oh, there's a rewire right there. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Alien, go after them. Alien, I command you. There's smoke over there. I can hide in the smoke. I can hide in the smoke. They don't see me anymore. I mean, they're looking directly at me, but they don't see me. Which is totally fine. I, can, I keep forgetting. I can peek over things. Hey, guys. Oh, you see me. They see me. Why do I have a stun baton out? I need my revolver out. Reload this thing here. I'm just stupid. All right. So, you guys don't really see me anymore for some reason. Which is... Oh, okay. You guys see me again. Stop it. How did you shoot me through a piece of metal? It's BS. Can I talk to you guys through this or something? I just want to- Hello? McFly? Are you in there? Okay, so they're gone. I'm gonna do the rewire. Hopefully he doesn't see me doing this stupid rewire. There's a ladder there. I can go up there and just sneak kill him, but that doesn't really work. That's not how Ripley works. She doesn't just come behind you and break your neck. Rewire system. What do we got? Uh, camera feed active. Door is access on. Uh, what else do we got? That's literally all we can do with this. So we- we- we did door access. That's fine. Totally did door access. I think I still see people up there. So that means that I need to go around them. Maybe this door was closed before, but uh, I, I need a med kit. I need to use this med kit because I do not want to die immediately again. Do you hear something? I get the feeling that I hear something. Why isn't it killing them? There's just this epic music hanging out. People? Wait, there's a person to my left. There's nothing over here. 
Okay, there's people, people around. There's enough alarms going on, so I'm going to assume it's okay to fire a gun. Because why would the alien pay attention to a gunshot? It doesn't exactly know what a gunshot is, it's just a loud noise, but there are loud noises everywhere. So we're gonna use deductive reasoning and we're gonna try and shoot some people. Hopefully in the head this time before they can dodge. And hopefully I'll be able to see them before they see me. Yeah, sneaky sneaky. It's not as loud over here. I wonder if the alien hears all the loud music. Should I go in here? Do I have a... Oh, there's a person down here. Probably dodge him if I go in here. Alright, we'll go in here. We'll go in this little vent, which really only has the axe, the reasoning of... Hey! Nope! Back it away! Not going that way, we're gonna go out this way, cause that- wait, can I shoot in the vent? Can I shoot in the vent? Is that possible? Oh, I totally can, alright. We're gonna get our reticle and hey buddy. Nope! Oh! Damn it, you saw me. You see me as well. Alright, we're just gonna- we're gonna hang out. Don't come over here. Oh! You see me. Yeah, we're backing out. We're backing out of here. We're gonna go this way. Turn on a light so we can at least see someone, but the only thing is they can see me too. Reload that single bullet, but for some reason you need to drop all of them out because this game is realistic on like every single game in the entire world. Okay. Got our six shots. Uh, hopefully I didn't see that light. Anything over here? There's a safe station. They're over there, so we're gonna go this way. Alright, cool! Oh, what's this? I still don't know what a charge pack is for. I'm assuming like an EMP or something, but... Access the terminal first because... At Sevastopol, we care what everyone has to say, and everyone likes to write little memos. It's like Bioshock. Why were people recording their thoughts so often? They just like to hear their own voice. And of course, this is coming from me, the guy that actually likes to sit in his room, record for an hour at a time his own voice, and then let other people listen to it. Like, it's, it's insane how this works. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Nothing on the tables, no blueprints. We're good. So let's, uh, let's hope that they forgot about the woman that was shooting at them. And so this is open now. So, oh hey, hey buddy. Hey, you don't see me, do you? You should have seen me! You should have seen me! How do you like getting shot in the chest, bitch? Yeah, you don't like it, do you? Because I sure as hell don't like it. So why would you do it to me? Good luck restarting that save point, you little jerk. Hey, why can't I grab the gun? Why can't I dual wield? Do I not trust the weapon? Like, Ripley doesn't know that you never pick up someone else's weapon without checking and inspecting it first, but I know that, and I'm Ripley, so realistically, I should know this stuff. I could just transfer my smarts into the game and just be like, oh, yeah, Keon, you automatically beat the game because you're so smart and you know everything. You're the best. Why can't I open these? Do these- are you kidding me? These little things need to be turned on to open them? That's so stupid! That's like some of those safes that require power to open, so if you cut the power to someplace, then, uh, you, you can't- I don't know. It's just dumb. It's so dumb. It's dumb! Maybe it's saying there's nothing in it, then the light is only on when something's in it. There's no one around here. Nope, we're good. We're safe. Siegson! Oh, welcome to the front desk! I have a formal complaint to make! Excuse me, can I see your manager? Can I please see your manager? Speaking about seeing your manager, if you work in a retail store- This happened to me while I was on vacation. If you're in a retail store, do not, I repeat, do freaking not tell the person that you- that just bought something from your store. I complained that the watch that I had didn't tell me the, uh, the date and the day of the week. Even though it had on the back of the face, it told me the date and the week. And I was like, why can't I set this? And the guy's like, because it's a $20 watch. Oh, oh, you do not talk to me like that. I, I gave you money so you could have a job, you bald bastard. That's right. You're a bald bastard and I don't like you. And I think I just beat another part. God, I am... I'm doing good, unless of course this section does not have the alien in it. But, Jesus, I'm not- Do not talk to people that way. Talk to people with the same respect that you would have. He was a stuck up Brit, no offense to the British people out there, but this guy was stuck up, bald, waxed his head constantly. Oh, it's a $20 watch. What do you expect? I expect the watch that you sold me to work. That's enough ranting. Back to the game. We're going back to the game. I just- I just had that because it was just like customer complaint, and I worked in retail for five years. Fun fact, Keon worked in retail for five years, and it was- it's an experience. You get to know so much about the world and how people just are such a-holes. The world is filled with a-holes that are entitled. Entitled a-holes, so they're E-A-holes. <laughs> E-A sports. Challenge everything. Shoo! <laughs> <sighs> I look good with glasses, don't you think? I think I look really good with glasses. Get to the Skymed Transit Station. Why is this so hard? What does this say? 
tomorrow, no together. Wait, tomorrow, no together future. But that is, that's not English. Tomorrow, no together future. That makes no sense. Can I open this or use lever? Okay, we'll open that, I guess. Uh, in a second. We're gonna open that just in a second. I'm gonna see if there's anything over here. Can I open this? Nope, device invalid. Alright, so that's gonna require, uh, another upgrade to my little devicey thingy. There's a little eat bar. We can't eat it because there's no point. So just, you know, everyone should work retail at one point in their life. Hold left trigger. This is different. Why? Why do they switch it? Why can't I just pump it? And why can't I just push A to open that? Seriously. It's, it's oh, I know this place. I know this place. I know where we are. That's where the medical wing was. Yes, I know exactly where we are, which means we are actually on our way. What the hell is this noise? We're on our way back to what's his face? Okay, now we gotta use the security access tuner because I guess some type of lockdown happened. Uh, we got the cheeseburger, we got the uh, funny L. No, sorry, this is a cheeseburger. Uh, and then we got the, 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 the flipping patty symbol. I don't know. Open sesame. Beautiful. Now, I remember there were people in there. Oh, are those the people I just killed? Are those the, let me look through this window. Are these the people I just killed or there's still people in there? Was I just over there? No, I couldn't have been over there. Plasma torch, you get in there. So, I mean, I don't know what happened to the people in there. They're probably dead because they made too many noises. Maybe someone got really bad gas from the burrito that they ate. And it's just like, uh, uh, uh. And then, yeah, fart jokes, I know. That's what I've, that's what I've reduced myself to, a fart joke. Oh, I sent you cinematic. a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey. They did send out a warning. Yourself. Ripley, from the Torrens. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. Two people. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlow, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. God damn androids. Ripley. Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Yes, transit it is. The control is upstairs. Who turned off the transit control? Says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful, seeing as you screwed up the trap. Yeah, right. We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. How did I screw up the trap? I walked into it. Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. If anything, I drew the alien to it. But, uh, anyway, so there's, there's an issue there. Is the... Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Where am I going? We really should hurry. Yeah, Taylor, Taylor needs help. I get it. Yeah, that's fine. Don't you always that. know a working Joe. Here. Who decided to write that? Just some a-hole? Yeah, I know. Of course I know a working Joe. There's stupid androids everywhere. So, I have a problem with that. The the issue with, with what they just said is that the, the uh, they found the flight recorder, and the person, the captain that found the flight recorder was patient zero who had the hole in the chest back in the med bay. And that person had, must have gotten hugged by a face hugger, which means that the flight recorder would have had to have been with the alien. So, in the movie Alien, Ripley uh, escapes in an escape pod, but the alien is on the escape pod with her, and there was only one baby alien on that ship. On the uh, on the um, what the hell is it called? The uh, the Nostromo. There was only one alien on that ship. It didn't lay any eggs. It wasn't a queen. And the thing is that that ship was blown to high hell. I'm assuming I'm going this way. Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, that a that ship was blown to high hell. It exploded. And that's why a uh, Ripley gets in trouble for a lot of money in Aliens, which is, I think, 60 years in the future. I don't remember the exact amount of time. But it's way in the future. And the thing is that if everything blew up, then what the hell was left for the alien to sort of hang out with? And if the alien was, I don't know, the flight recorder. The flight recorder is something... <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense because if the flight recorder was with Ripley, which it wasn't, because the flight recorder was not on the uh, on the on the escape pod, which is what Ripley was found on later in the future. We, that hasn't happened yet. Um, I don't know. It's 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 convoluted at, in my in my opinion because the Nostromo blew up to bits. Self destruct systems do not leave anything left. They, they exploded in space. Everything was jetted out to different spots. 
So I mean, if you find that flight recorder, which I'm assuming is a black box and indestructible, there is no way in hell that you would have been able to get a face hugger on your face unless you went to the original planet, uh, LV-45 or 46, whatever the hell it's called, or 245, I don't know. And that, I like this game a lot, but I feel like they're pulling its strings there on, on how it actually came to be. Because, what's that? Why did you put an X on the door? And the question is, who put the X on the door? Did they close the door, put the X on the door, then go into the door and close the door? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Well, so whatever. So, I don't know. Call me nuts. Point is that I think it's a little weird, a little bit too coincidental. Because if the flight recorder had a face hugger on it, don't you think Ripley would have noticed? I heard an alien. I heard an alien. I hope it's not an alien. I don't know, why would the alien be banging on a door? Android or a human or something. Okay, what did I just pick up? EMP mine. I already had that. Smoke bomb, flashbang. Oh, I have version two of things. Oh, I have version two of things. That's nice. That's very nice. I'm happy with that. Wait, no. Yeah, no, I have version two of stuff. Let's build one. Let's build a version two noisemaker. I don't know why, but we're gonna do it. Can I, can I build another molly? Can't build a molly. I think I just use, I don't have a pipe bomb. I wonder what a pipe bomb could do. Uh, okay. Anyway, back to revolver. Nope, that's not a revolver, it's a flare. There we go. What is this? Gas torch required. How many different things do I need to get around this damn place? It's like a maze. They didn't want me looking around anything and it's dark as dicks in here. Uh, so there, there's my frustrations with the story so far. The gameplay is uh, astronomically insanely amazing. It's terrifying. I've been doing good this last two sections, so, you know, call me nuts. But is there something I'm supposed to be looking for in this room? Am I supposed to go open that door that someone's banging on? Is there a computer? Is it this thing? It's one of these things, isn't it? All right, using the computer. What's up? What are we doing? We're activating the transit system. Of course, it was just one elevator right away. I wonder who. Low power, disabled security lockdown, and error. Oh, Hello? the door just opened. Door just opened. Someone's in here. Do you? That's great. Cause I don't like you. Should I just kill him? I could just kill him. Let's just kill him. Why not? I don't like you. Ah! Well, now you're dead. Solve one problem. Only an alien and a million other people to go through. My question is, should I not have killed him? Should I have left him alive? Was he a friendly? Although I have a feeling the game would yell at me if I killed a friendly. And there was no signal that he was friendly. He says, I know you're here. Well, it's great that you know you're here. And of course, did you, do you see this crap? Do you see, the, the elevator's broken. The elevator is now officially broken. What did you do? You came up the elevator and ruined your only escape. Did you, did you know something I didn't know about over here? Do I have to open this? Is there something I have to do? Door locked, okay, door's locked. I don't know where I'm going, I don't have a gas torch. Although there's a nice little green light. Did he have a gas torch on him? No? This is the same, same outfit that everyone else is wearing? Bonding agent? That's, that's great, my friend. That is great. Do I, can I make a gas torch? No, of course, I can't make something useful. Do I have to do something else on these stupid panels? Nothing else is lighting up. Hello? I'm an engineer. I'm not a computer whiz here. Yeah, well, no. Oh, there's something glowing over here. That's probably what I need. The glowing thing. I didn't see this before. Use the lever. Hold left trigger and right and down on both. Always switching it up. Trying to keep me on my toes. Make sure the mechanics don't get boring. Then the mechanics just get tedious. It's like, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. So, glowing lights. Okay, Here, here's number one. I did number one. What is this? Oh, no, wait. Disable security lockdown. Okay, where, 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 where do you want me to disable the security lockdown from? Why? Just use the computer. Where's the security lockdown? Is it in the elevator? There's something I'm missing. There's some, it's, oh, there's a green light over here now. There's a green light. Perfect, I'm gonna run. I don't think the alien's gonna come in here. I don't even see a vent. Okay, this is how I disabled the security lockdown. Three, four, five, like 10 keys, and I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Up, oh! up. Oh! Hey, buddy. Are you working, Joe? You are. Well, neither should you, a-hole. Come on, bring it. I'm ready for you this time. I got my dual stun baton, bitch. No, come here. We can do. We can do. We can do. No, oh, you're choking me. You're choking me out. You're choking me out. And now you're throwing me out. No, hey, hey. I didn't have enough to drink yet. Please don't throw me out. I'll tip better. I swear. Get off me. Get off. And stun you. That didn't work. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Die. Die. You stupid son of a working Joe. That's right. You puke up your synthetic blood. You jerk. What do you got on you? A sensor and a sensor. My items are max. I don't have any health. I can, I can craft health. Craft and health. We got the health. We're good. We are better. 
Gorgeous. Now everything is good here, so now I can use it. Uh, the error was the fact that the other two screens were not green. Hello? Get back to the transit station. You got it. Of course, Ripley, the thing's not working. The transits here were waiting on you. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. Yeah, I'll take the next car. That's fine. I'm guessing I'm gonna find a gas torch in here, because uh, the only way out seems to be that gas torch thing. So, I guess we know what we're picking up. Hello, gas torch, save station? Yes, please. We're gonna pick up the gas torch, and then we're going totally gonna save. Gas torch! Look at this thing. It's like a little screen on it, too. It's pretty awesome. I don't know what the screen's for, but it's great. Cutting torch. Cutting gas torch. We're gonna save. We're gonna save. This is, this is what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna hopefully get back down to medical. And by medical, I mean the transit system. We're gonna get on to the next section of this game, we're gonna move on, we're gonna be beautiful, we're gonna do gravy. Unless, of course, I die. If I die, then we're not doing that anymore, because... Oh, look, it's so nice in here! This is such a nice place now, that I've fixed everything. Leave it to Ripley to fix it. Okay, so how do I use this? Turn on the gas. Of course, this thing will not be able to be used as a weapon. Oh, just push it. I get it. What's the point of the screen? Oh, the screen just shows me what I'm cutting, but... It's- this thing doesn't take up a lot of room anyway, so don't I know what I'm cutting? Is a screen really necessary? I suppose it's so you don't have to wear the little flip-down thingies. Because you can't look directly at the- the torch, but... I don't know, this still seems like a safety hazard. And also, isn't this an extremely inconvenient way to get into the vent shaft? It's- I literally had to cut that open and then do this. Cut panel in case of emergencies. Yes, because in an emergency I have time to sit there with a freaking torch that chances are I don't even have. This entire ship is a frickin' emergency. <laughs> oh, man. This game. It's fun. It's not boring, which I credit Evil Within for so much. The game never got boring. There was always new mechanics. But this game, I feel like there are a lot of new mechanics as well. Hopefully, they all, like, come together in a, in a nice little culmination of things so that I can actually, you know, know what the hell I'm doing a majority of the time. Are we down? Are we down? Yes? Oh, cool. Turn off the light, because we're about to enter. Enter someplace. Oh, a nice little safe room here. Uh, rewire. We're gonna check that out in a second. Recorder? We're not doing it. We're not falling for you, Mr. Recorder. Oh, I, I, I think I know where I am. I think I know where I am. This is, this is one of those locked rooms from earlier in the game. Like, no, it can't be. That, that was at the terminal. I don't think, realistically, that makes sense space-wise. Speaking of space, get it? Space? Huh? Camera feed off, door access on, transit area, air purification, speaker system on, uh, air purification, we're good. Alright, cool. So we just did a bunch of things. Uh, we're gonna open this thing, hold, down, it's another one of those switchy things. I don't know, maybe, maybe because that one doesn't have a button. Oh wait, I know where I am. Transit system's literally right here. Okay, we're good. We are, we are golden. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. We heard voices as we left. Which one am I going to? Which car am I going to? Straight. Literally, it's this one right up here. So, at least I got the air purification system turned off. That was pretty smart of me. Downright mischievous, if you ask me. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna... We're gonna, I don't know, freaking hide in a locker, maybe? We're gonna hide in a locker until the train car comes. Hold the hide! And we're gonna hope that, uh, the voices... Which, of course, what is this? What are achieving for? I admire it, its purity. Defeated 30 targets. Oh, detected. Or a way off this fuck heap. Hey guys, how you doing? Today's the day we finally seal ourselves in the habitation I just I just need to know when the freaking transit car is here and then we're good. There's no reason for you to search this. So I'm like right next to the freaking ship. Oh great, there's three of them. Hey guys. Sometimes the the music in this game is so loud that you can't even hear what the people are saying. We need four of them. Okay, they're here. I mean, by them, I mean they're here. No, the transit card's here, so we can go in. I just want this guy to walk away for a second, and then we're gonna, just gonna board it. Don't go right. Go right. No way we should be splitting up. Safety and numbers. Yeah, safety numbers. Leave. Oh, really? They're just gonna leave? You guys are really leaving? I'll stop the fucker. Oh, that's another thing. That's another- all these people have guns, right? In, um, Aliens, 
the alien, like, okay, the scary part of the first alien was the fact that the aliens, the alien didn't really die ever. It, like, you, you could try and kill it, you can set it on fire, but it was always just sort of, like, hanging out, and, and it was one thing that was unstoppable, unbeatable, you could not kill it. The only way to kill it was to jettison it into space, but now... Uh, in, in Aliens, there were like hundreds of aliens, not to spoil the movie, but it's like almost 30 years old, if not more. So they were killing them left and right. But the thing is, that was numbers versus bullets. So you could run out of bullets. And that was that's what was scary there. In this, it's again, one alien. Everyone seems to have guns. Everyone join together. Concentrate your fire. Blow the crap out of the alien. I don't know, unless they were using special marine safety bullets of some kind to kill. But... I mean, that probably could be what it is, and it just it doesn't, like, get hurt by normal bullets. But still, the, 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 con- the contrast between one unstoppable being, a million easily killable beings, and then now back to one, which is sandwiched right in the middle, uh, it doesn't, I don't know, it's, it's, not, it's not my cup of tea, really. And I'm not British, so I don't really drink tea. Unless, of course, you know, you have a sore throat and you need, like, some, some tea with some honey in it for good measure. And I think there should be a save station at every single one of these places. So we're gonna save, and I'm gonna call it for this episode. So, uh, yeah, I think we had a good run. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't think we died once. Really banking on the fact that I didn't die once. So, uh, it looks like we're gonna meet up with our friends in the next episode. But until then, thanks for watching, thanks for subbing if you have, and as always, keep calm and key on and I will see you in the next video. TV thing is starting to- oh, here. <laughs> ah! Oh, motherfucker! Why? Why? What are you? Stay away! Run, 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 run! Oh, that blew me up too! Oh my god, oh my god. Run, Sebastian, run, you dumb sh- Oh, 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 oh!